Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews Note. And today I am going to show you how I'm making my brand new application that's called Pokemon List or Pokemon Checklist. I'm not really sure what the end name is going to be. It's probably going to be Checklist, I'm not sure. But this was requested by a viewer. And basically what the viewer requested is some way of keeping track of what you caught and, and that way you can just refer to your phone. Apparently, and it's been a while since I dealt with this stuff, since this stuff's really aimed more for kids. Apparently, the uh, for those who don't know, what's happened is the um, with the with the newest version, I think it's Generation Six. They added something called a Pokemon Bank, and basically, the like the old days where you're able to transfer stuff through a cable from one Game Boy to the next. Now you can just transfer stuff online, store it online, and grab it from online, like a cloud service like Dropbox or whatever. And that way, you, when you're switching from one game to the next, you, all your hard work didn't go in vain, basically. Which probably was a big turnoff for a lot of people, because you spent hours and hours doing it. And then, once you're done and getting the next game, it, you gotta start over. Yeah, that kinda sucked. So, as far as that goes, um, that's great and all, but apparently there's a huge problem where when you're catching things and you're trying to store it all and, and collect everything, you, uh, you really have no way of finding out what you caught, um, unless it's in the same game, obviously. Yeah, what you caught, uh, unless if you want to go back and forth between the bank or transfer everything from the bank to the game, and then transfer everything back from the game to the bank, um, which it takes a long time in itself. Uh, but going back for it between the game and the bank and back to the game to figure out what you need and, and whatever is um, is probably going to be like five minutes, my guess. Now, to top it off, uh, one thing I'm going to add on that the person didn't re really request is a ability to figure out where to get the stuff in the games. Obviously, it's up to you if you want to use it, but basically, it's using this map, and I'm going to have a checklist below it, so you don't have to worry about, you know, if you can see it or not. But basically, what's happening is you can actually see what, like, say for example, right here, Route Nine. If you got these three, and you're still right there at Route Nine, trying to get more, obviously, you're not going to be able to get more if the programmers didn't program more in that area and um that, that basically solves that problem so you know you got everything let's move on to somewhere else and um oh you didn't get everything let's stay there for a while and try to get figure out what and why because uh some of the stuff it's you, you, got, you have to smash rocks and some of the stuff you get fishing some of you get from surfing and so on but basically it's using that map um, in, in a checklist that will be below it. So um, it, it's an extra feature for that. Now, as far as things goes, when you first crank up this application, a splash screen will show. I'm not 100% sure what a splash screen will say. Probably something like this was brought to you by Techviews Now or something like that. But uh, when the actual thing comes up after a splash screen, you'll be presented with this. How many have you caught? And um, this might change in the future, I'm not sure. But basically, what it will show is, is zero um, if you didn't catch anything. And obviously, if you caught something, it'll add from there. Um, it'll have a slash and the total number of Pokemon out there. So I, th I think it's actually 719, so I gotta fix that. But um, th that's just so you can you know keep track and say oh this is how I have and and let's use that. Now, as far as the list, the um, list when you click that, give it a second or two to bring up the stuff. And what will happen is it will take you to this page. And basically, what will happen is. You'll see something like this, uh, Generation 1, and then blah, 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 space, blah, 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 and so on. 
And basically what's happening here is you got generation one and right here one through 150 and do these this in a green is notes to myself the the end user you won't see it so basically what I got is right here um, for 152 I need to put a narrow one of these and say generation two and same thing for the rest of these and basically what what's happening here is we got a checkbox we got a picture and let's, let's actually pull up this one we got uh, linear layout, horizontal. We got a chat box right there. As I said, a picture and some text. And basically the text has the um, number that's associated with the name of the thing that it's associated with and the type or types. And I think there's only two types at most. I'm not 100% sure. I've only gotten down to 20, 30, 29. So I haven't gotten that far. But still. But I mean, that's basically all it does. And these spaces, as far as things go, I'm making spaces every so often um, after every evolution period. Uh, so basically, this can evolve into this, this can evolve into this, and it can't evolve anything else past that. Same thing with that. I'm trying to do that with every one I, I can figure out that evolves into. If I mess up, then feel free to email me and tell me, or, or tell me in the comments if I messed up somewhere, and um, that way I can fix it. Um, not, I'm obviously not going to be able to get 100% right if, if the list that I'm going off of, which is this, is not 100% right. And in fact, I even have it in the notes, the list I'm using. So as far as that goes, uh, basically when you press the check, it saves the check into your your SD or your internal or your phone. And that way, if I have to do updates, which is highly likely for something like this, uh, you know, with the next version of the game coming out or whatever, then I can just, um, you know, I, I don't have to worry about you losing your stuff. You don't have to worry about losing your checks. It would just save the information to your SD card or your intern or your phone. And that way, if you, I don't know, for some weird reason, delete the application and install it again later on. Or if you switch applications, oh, well, I meant switch devices, um, tablets, or phones. And um, if you transfer the right files over to the um, other device, then it's like you never really... Um, you pretty much always had that so you, you'll keep all your check marks and everything so it's good to go so as far as the rest of this um, I think that's pretty much about it oh and uh, for those of you who don't know my style of making applications uh, by the way this is Android Studio and I'll get into why that's important in a second but as for, far as those of you who don't know my style, basically we got up here is a horizontal dill. We got a go back button or some buttons up there. Below here we got a text box. This is just a blue or a cyan, sorry about it, a cyan background. And below this is the scroll view of vertical layout and then whatever I want so that way below this bar you can scroll up and down to do whatever above this bar this will always stay there and I might make a submit button so you have to click to submit in order to save makes it a little bit easier for me but um as far as that goes yeah that's uh that's pretty much about it for the list let's go back into the main menu screen and uh, the for each one you got checked it uh, that number grows obviously so where you can get them uh, basically what this does is try to go here is it'll take you to the screen and this takes you to the list of games I'll fix that up in a bit but basically what this does is you can select the game and I'm starting with X and Y because of the bank I might 
go back and deal with the black and white version um, maybe further back I'm not 100% sure but uh, as far as this goes this uh, once you click that and I haven't made the page after that basically that will show this map at the top and below that a um, bunch of tracks the map at the top is going to be clickable and it will bring you to another page will bring you to the actual map taking up the entire screen and the checkable stuff basically it'll say root 9 or whatever and it'll list whatever and that way you can just go from there and that way if you collect something say for example we're at root 9 and we got these three things uh, we know that we got everything there so we don't need to waste our, any more time and we can go on our way whereas let's say if we got two we know we got a third so let's stick around for a while and, and try to get the last one so that's pretty simple um now as far as this goes what i'm trying to do is use a image button and for the the map i don't see how well that goes never used one before uh, at least i don't think I did I might have but um, I'll use the the list stuff for the um, below that below the image button and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make it in a way where the um, if you click something on the list and go to this page the the X and Y page to the, the list below the map then it will be checked too if, if it needs to be and that way you can only check one place and you're, you're be good to go. Also, there might be some submit button at the top. I'm not 100% sure. Again, those pages aren't made yet, so we'll see what happens. Now, with the last page, which or the last thing, which is about this app and how to use it. Let's check out that, if I can find it, maybe. And I, I haven't worked on the job at all. I think um, so yeah we'll be working on that in a bit but as far as things goes this this basically show tells you how to use the application and what it's for and and go from there and at the bottom of it it has my email and that way you can click the button again the job is not set up yet uh, you can click the button and you will be taken to your Gmail and it'll put my email on the address bar the name of the application the subject and that way you can just write out in the body of whatever you want and send to me and that way it makes it easier on you for because it puts the stuff in there automatically and it makes it easier on me so i know what application you're talking about simple as that so as far as things go so uh, let's uh, oh uh one thing I forgot to mention is the strings. So why is it important that I mention that this is Android Studios and not Eclipse? I might convert this into Eclipse later on, but for right now we're just doing Android Studios if we can. Um, so as far as the reason why it's important, well, if you look at this, the strings, I got several strings that has hex codes into it. And and you might not know this the um, if you use hex codes and say for example the let's scroll to the top say the background right here if you use hex code you're fine but if you use a string you get an error at least when I tried it you get an error and um, that way I can just go up to the string change the code if I need to and I have to change this Nico for each and every one. I've done it already once with um, with this. Basically, the green wasn't gr brighter enough, and I might make it even brighter by get, getting another hex code. But as far as things go, the green wasn't bright enough, and instead of having to go to one thing at a time for each and every of these pages, I just changed it one string code, and it changes everything for me, so I don't have to worry about it. I want to get it to this point, but um, it's hard to say if it already is. If anyone knows 
anything about the eye, you probably know what I'm talking about when it's, I say it's hard to tell if it is already there. But as far as things go, this is supposed to be neon green. It doesn't look bright enough to me. But yeah, and, and uh, that's just my style. If you don't like that, then yeah, I don't know. I, I'd say get over it. I, I might make a button on there so it'll, you can change it back to white and black. So white background, black text. But as far as things go, that's, that's how things are for me. So, as far as the rest of this video, uh, what I'm going to be doing is try to work on this. And um, I might break it up in sections. But I don't really think I'm going to be talking the rest of this video. It, um, I'm pretty much going to be muted as far as what's on my computer and my microphone because um, I, I'm... 400 times the normal speed so you can get a sense of the code on how it's being built but i'll be listening to pandora in the background and i don't want copyright notices from youtube now i don't know if i'll be working on the java code today and this is just xml this is the layout so we'll see how things go if you do catch this video before i fully got it out then let me know what you think and that way I can make modifications as I go because it's easier to make modifications now especially with only 29 versus doing the 719 and it's like oh crap I should have done that so yeah um, and it's more likely I'll actually do it so uh, oh and um, I'm not too worried about these errors I'll try to find this give it a second or two and you can see I, I got 61 warnings and warnings I don't care one way or another I, I'll show you in a second what a warning and typos I don't care typos is going to be obvious I mean you got this is not English so what a warning is is basically saying hey you need to be using this in a string fashion but because this is the only place it's being shown no I'm not going to be shown put it in a string especially if 719 strings that's crazy for all, having us each and every string show in one place and that's it so yeah but anyways uh feel free to like subscribe and share please check out checkfusingup.com and if you want uh please feel free to listen to whatever music i got playing and i'll try to put something up telling you what music it is and I, I got it all from Audio Micro or s something from Maker. Maker's been giving me a bunch of things, uh, which is my partnership, a network partnership for YouTube. They've been giving me a bunch of things lately to to play with. And um, it'll be from one of those. Um, just ask me where I got it, and I'll try to look if, if, um, if I don't have a list already. So anyways, uh, it's been Craig Bennett, founder and owner of Tech Fuse Nope, and I hope you have a great day, and hopefully you, you watch the rest of this video. <laughs>